So I just got to my location where I'm about to go knock on some doors. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh my gosh, doing sales is weird. <laughs> Especially door to door. I really wish she had a cane with me. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, good morning. Maya here, welcome to the weekend vlog. So, as you can see, I'm on the road again. My hands are ashy. I am headed to um, go look at some vending machines because I am starting a vending machine business. I don't know if any of you guys like have an entrepreneurial spirit spirit, or if you um, watch or like follow different like entrepreneur sites on like Instagram. I, for me, okay, I, I'll say I'm saying this. I follow a lot of different um, entrepreneur people on Instagram who talk about like different ways to make money that don't especially low low cost startup or low startup cost um, businesses that you can start that are pretty lucrative and vending is one of those businesses um, having a vending machine pretty much exactly what it sounds like having vending machines um, you place the vending machines at a location people will buy the snacks very simple of course you can sell lashes and hair and all types of stuff I mean we see people sell all types of things through vending now but I'm going to start off very basic, um, the lowest cost possible, and that's going to be um, with just snacks, something that I know is going to, you know, some, something I know is going people are going to actually purchase. I want to have multiple sources of income, and I kind of have, like, I have, for years, I have had multiple sources of income. It just has not been a lot. <laughs> like, I've been doing, I did Airbnb, I did, um, and I did Airbnb out of a rental. People talk about that now too, but I did that like years ago when I lived in Atlanta. I've done a lot of these gig jobs, the driving gig jobs. I've done those for years. Um, and then I was doing, what else was I doing? I was doing like um, production, video production jobs, and those are always 1099. Those are like self-employment. So I've, I've done, you know, I, don't, I think those are the ones I can really, you know, those are the main ones I can think of off the top of my head. But now I'm like, I need to find something that, is, that can replace full-time income. Um, so, and I, I still, I am a real estate agent as well. I'm trying to build my clientele up. I'm just trying to do it in my own way. <laughs> like, cause there are so many ways that you can, you know, get clients and et cetera, et cetera. People have a bunch of advice and different things that you can do. But I'm just trying to, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel at all. I'm just trying to find a way that feels comfortable and feels right for me. Um, so I, I think I'm going to do some real estate stuff today too. But anyway, I'm saying all this to say, um, I'm trying to find sources of income that can replace a full-time nine to five job. Cause I don't, you know, cause that's not really my long-term goal for myself and also like I'm a, I'm a very high energy person i like to be like interactive i like to like be on the ground doing stuff as opposed to sitting there making phone calls that is like that's not my thing i don't want to sit on the phone i don't want to sit on the phone all day i'd rather go out knock some doors it's kind of fun i was supposed to go with um a real estate friend too but she's not um able to do it today so i'm, I'm still gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it by myself i'm gonna go knock some doors hi you trying to buy you trying to sell your house and this is the seller's market right now if i can get some listings Really, that's what I want to do. I want to be a listing agent. If I had a preference, I would prefer to be a listing agent because um, it's easier. And I'm not—I'm not going to sit here and act like I like to work hard. I don't. I don't. I love. Give, give, give me some. Give me some ease. Some convenience. So um, yeah. All that said, I'm heading out to, to go look at the vending machines. I'll show you guys what they look like when I get there, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Okay. Maya. Maya yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Because I'm just getting into it. I kind of heard about it. I heard it was like a low, a low startup or, you know, a low cost startup type right, of business. Right. Um, so I'm like, people, everyone was saying, get your location first and then, you know, get a machine. So that's right. what I'm trying to do. So I'm like, let me source places to get machines from and okay. blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, how does that I mean, work? I can show you how it works. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's plug one in. Okay. Let me walk into how it works. Coins go right there. Of course. So there's this service mode button. See, I've robbed everything off here. So, <laughs> it's just a basic machine. Yeah. So there, there, okay. uh, there's a coin mech that goes right here. Your coins would come right in here. In okay. Slot roll right down. Go into coins. So they would fill up the, the coin slots uh -huh. in the coin mechanism. Okay. Or if you've got enough coins in there, then you've got an overflow where the, okay. the coins collect. Right there. Okay. And of course, your bills will stack up. Yes. Bill validator. That, yes. Yes. Um, Time frame for how long it might take to actually like have it ready? Because you, you said a lot of them are pretty much already ready to go, though. So it's not yeah, like it's gonna be. A lot of them are already ready. Let me show um, the insides. 
I don't know what I'm gonna get. I mean, if you give me a heads up, yeah, we can we can definitely have it have it ready. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, it's not like awesome. it's be a month or anything like that. No, I mean, we definitely have some. Okay. So the drinks drop down right here. Uh huh. Um, so you can adjust this backspacer uh, yeah. forwards and backwards okay. depending on if you like. So normally, like you can see the can set up, right? Oh, There's cool. it's normally three deep. So one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And you want the first can up here pushing on this little thing to push that up. Okay. So as long as that thing oh, is up, flat. okay. Yeah, that's saying there's drinks in there. Okay. If that is down like that, it, the selection won't bend because it'll say it's it's sold out because there's okay. no drinks, right? And, okay. installation he can come set it up look for cows y'all can't see but for cows over here really in the middle of the, the country which is cute like i like a little drive but yeah like so you know sometimes you get in your own way and you're like oh my gosh we're gonna be the stranger in the middle of nowhere like uh something can happen I'm like no I, I don't like to live my life like that i don't like to operate like that i don't like to think like that i mean it's a thought and you know we all say um therapists and stuff say you know let your thoughts come and go don't judge them let the thoughts come be cautious especially with what just happened to me in the January, which I'm gonna talk about um, probably after the court date. But yeah, so like, you know, I'm just trying to be, you know, be cautious and whatnot, but I'm also not gonna let fear stop me from doing things. So I was like, um, back when I first was doing Airbnb, and you know, I, I lived in this house. So I had a, I had a three bedroom townhouse that I was renting. I lived in one of the rooms, we rented the other two rooms out. And back when I was first doing that, everyone was like, oh, aren't you nervous that it's gonna happen, da, da, da. I was like, no, like, most people don't mean you harm. I don't wanna think like that. Most people are not out to get you. You know, most people are not out to get me. I don't wanna live my life from a place of fear, etc. So, that's the same mentality I brought to this. I was like, yes, I'm meeting a stranger off of Facebook in the middle of nowhere, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine, and it was fine. He was good, he gave me some good information, and now I'm headed to my next business task. Look at me setting myself up for success that's the plan i gotta stop stop it. i tell y'all all the time like i'm I, you see i'm excited right now the excitement the energy the passion the drive to start something not an issue for me it's the follow-through that becomes the issue for me sometimes like oh, it's too it's, it's not it's just things get difficult it's not it doesn't work out the way you know you want it to especially because i'm not i'm I have a nine to five now, but for the, my whole twenties, I've been doing a lot of like entrepreneur. I've been doing, I've been, I've been trying this entrepreneur thing for a long time now. I've been trying it for a whole decade. I just, I just give up on stuff to keep it above. I give up when, when it starts to get real difficult, or even if, even if it starts to get a little bit difficult. But it's mostly, most of the time, it's because of financial issues. Like I'm not able to afford to keep putting as much energy into something as I have in the past. But now I'm like finding different resources that I can use and things that I can figure. Just, just I'm, I'm, right now, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not giving up on it. I'm figuring it out. I have my nine to five. I'm using that to fund, you know, the different things that I'm doing. And I'm also really trying to sell some houses, y'all. I got my real estate license. I need to get my clientele up. So that's why I'm about to go knock on some doors. Hi, you trying to sell your house? That's what I'm about to go do. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I just got to my location where I'm about to go knock on some doors. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I really wish my friend had a camera. I wish I wasn't doing this alone, but it's fine. I printed out little flyers. I'm not gonna show you the front because it has some information on it about the neighborhood. So anyway, I'm printing, printing out some, some just little something to hand off. Let me show you like a little, there you go. That's a little corner. <laughs> um, oh, you know, it's, I printed it off in black and white, don't judge me. Um, printed off something, you know, something that hands the people like, hi, I know, matter of fact, let me, I'm gonna practice my spill right in front of y'all right now. I'm literally sitting in the neighborhood. That, I don't, nobody's looking at me. Um, knock, knock, knock. Nobody's gonna, most people aren't gonna answer, but someone answers, hi. I talk so fast, slow down. Hi, my name is Maya. I'm from Insert Real Estate Company here. I'm just going around the neighborhood to see, um, to take some information about the neighborhood. I've noticed that a lot of houses in your area are selling for 
at least five to five to ten thousand over asking price um, we are in a seller's market right now so you know it is a great time to sell if you are interested in selling or moving um, so I'm just coming by to introduce myself and give you my business card and to see if you might be interested in listing your house for sale there you go that's what I'm saying all right all right y'all keep this in the vlog this needs to be in the vlog that's what I'm gonna say something like that it'll probably get better as I go down I have 20 sheets of paper I'm like do I want to do this whole neighborhood it's three o'clock it's actually I still got hours of sunlight so we'll see we'll see how I feel We'll see how I feel. Let me go ahead and get started. Yeah, wish me luck. I need to get some clients, y'all. Wish me luck. Yeah. Okay, so it's already becoming awkward. <laughs> the first person answered the door. And I was like, um, I just want to see if you um, want to find out some information about your neighborhood. Y'all, door knocking is so strange. All these sales, door-to-door -door practices. I really wish she had it came with me. It's supposed to be fun. That's why I want somebody to come with me. So I'm not doing this by myself. I guess I'm knocking this next door. If you don't take into account what you're gonna say and they actually open the door. I'm like, um, yeah, are you? But now I'm like, should I, I'm gonna skip this house. Because people are next to the next house. People are outside the next house. Let me stop being weird. And um, I guess I'll get to the end of the street. Oh my gosh, doing sales is weird. <laughs> Especially door to door. I really wish she had a cane with me. I still have flyers left. So I wonder if I should just go get them, get rid of get rid of the rest of these or maybe she and I can go come back to this neighborhood next weekend. Um I did meet another real estate agent, so that was cool. And we kind of talked a little bit. She was talking about how um she she had listed the house for sale across the street from where theirs was. Um, so that was cool. But yeah, I don't know. Door to door knocking is kind of strange. I came to my parents' house and now I'm going to Target. Say hello. 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 Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs> it is fire. Nah, I'm just you can't even take some stuff back. My hair looks stupid. I thought you put clips in. I thought it was some cute, but... It looks fine. I kind of want to put more of just the these clips around the tips. Anyway, look at my nails. The lady did. She, they're really long. She got to file down, but that cost more, so I just kept them looking. Oh, they just put their, their um, original length or whatever? No, but she shaped. Well, I got them long last time, but as I, this is a feel, so they look longer than what I, like, you know, imagine. And like I said, I would have gotten her to take him. I didn't know you were going to get long. They you know, you itemize the that list long. of everything. They always, well, I don't know. I never, I never, y'all see my nose busted. I never get my nose done. But they always, I, I've heard that they always do that. Oh, yeah. This is cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Why is this so hard? I'm trying to see if I can keep my hands on the bar though. <laughs> I'm, it's the handlebars, and, I, and I'm trying to record. I'm doing too much. I keep almost, almost fell over. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. What in the world? Okay. Oh my God. Why is this so hard? I never in my life had an issue riding a bike. Okay. I'm just keep my hands like this. I'm trying to hold the camera. But that's the issue. Okay, I'm good. Let's go. I can do the sidewalk. <laughs> For real. Ooh. And then we can vote again later. The Democratic Party. Hello guys, happy Sunday. Yeah, um, it's a mess in here. I need to like put the finishing touches on my vlogs. So I can upload that, um, and then I need to, of course, clean the mess up so I can, you know, clean the mess up from the past week so I can make another mess again this week. I should just get some more, more organizational stuff. And also, I need an ottoman. So this couch, right? This little chair, this little sofa thing. Yeah, this little, this one. This little sofa thing. Um, I, ha I have this sofa out here in the living room. I freaking hate it because it's so small and stupid. When I was shopping for furniture, I didn't really feel like it. <laughs> so I was like, this is fine. It's, it's beige. It'll work. And I was looking for it. I was dead set on getting a deep a deep couch. Like, you know what I mean? A deep set couch. This is not a deep set couch at all. It's a regular schmegular couch. I think I have a vlog on it on my channel. I'm sure I do when I first opened it. I either need to get an ottoman so I can extend, extend those legs on the couch 
or I need to bring that soap out here, which doesn't match, but I don't really care. Like, the feng shui is off in here. This is a temporary holding space for me. So, yeah. So now I'm about to make um, hash browns, crab cake, maybe a little salad. Cakes. So yeah, I think my hash browns are done. Yep. So those are done. Yum. Now I'm going to wait for my crab cake to cook. I was impatient with my hash browns. Put ketchup on them and started eating them. And my, um, as you can hear, the crab cake is still in the air fryer. And I'm put on. I'm gonna put on this little salad. So yeah, simple little salad. Yum. It's a hamburger salad. It's literally just like tomatoes, onions, and iceberg lettuce. A hamburger salad. Whatever. That's what I'm gonna put it on with some zesty ranch sauce, probably, because I need to eat some green, some you know vegetables, other than potatoes in my diet. So. All right, that's my um, that's my crab cake salad. Let's see what it tastes like. It really is a crab cake salad. This crab cake is not. Mm. Pretty good actually. It's good. The other one was better. It was a different brand that I bought last time. This is still not bad. My skin looks so bad. Mm. All right, so now I am back in the kitchen getting this mess together. Just a messy, 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 messy place. So I'm getting it together. Yeah, owe me back like you owe your tax. Owe me back like 40 acres to blacks. Pay me back when you shake it like that, girl. Sure, that, say what's your price. Uh-huh. Just to back it up, you can hold my eyes. Yeah. Now let's say you owe me back. Yeah. Say what's your price. I've done all I'm going to do today. I just tidied up a little bit so it's not as much stuff on the floor. It's still not clean, but it's like I can move around now. Um, anyway, so, end of the night, end of my weekend vlog. I hope you guys um, enjoyed watching the vlog. I really appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this a thumbs up. If you watch this video, just give it a thumbs up. You know what, okay, I'm gonna say this because I think sometimes people get worried like someone's gonna know that it's like people out people will be able to know who's watching your videos if you like my video i don't i won't know who you are so please just give it a like if, if the 15 viewers that watch this can i get 15 likes 15 likes and i promise i don't i don't i don't know who you are there's no data on who likes the videos not even on subscribers when people subscribe um i think there's a way you can change it but a lot a lot of the people that subscribe to me i don't even know who they are so there's no data if you like my video it's free you're, I, I appreciate it. you're watching it. I would really appreciate it if you give the video a like, all right? Um, I just purchased a ticket for this really fun event I'm going to in June, so I'm gonna show you all that. In June, I have events lined up, like I'm trying to get out in the city and do things and whatnot. Um, it's one o'clock in the morning, I have to go to work tomorrow. I'm really like working hard, I really am. Like I wanna, I wanna commit myself, I'm going on a ramp. I wanna commit myself because I'm really doing a lot right now. Um, I'm really working hard in so many ways, mentally, physically, emotional, I'm just doing a lot. And I'm trying to better myself and it's not easy. <laughs> Especially because I'm not a traditional person. I'm not doing things the traditional way. Um, so it's a little more difficult, but I'm going, I'm going to figure it out. And I plan on taking the vlog and you guys along with me. So anyway, th again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Maya, thanks for your time guys. I'll see you next week and bye for now, bye.